Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you are doing great because it is a fabulous day. And today I am gonna be experimenting with this Alme Peel Off Brow Color. So, if you wanna know more about this, just stick around. One of the things that I have to really work on is my brows because as you can see, they're very sparse. So since I don't have brows, <laughs> if I wanna look like made up, I have to color them in and usually I have to use a pencil and then I also use brow pomade and it's like, it takes forever. It takes more longer, more longer. It takes longer to do my brows than it does to do any other part of my face. I mean, my blush is like psh, psh, done. Uh, my eyeshadow is pretty fast too. But my brows, it takes forever. And then sometimes I'm really happy, other times I'm not. Then sometimes this one looks different than this one. And I know that they're not twins, they're cousins things, but everybody wants them to be twins. So, <laughs> I wanna try this to see if it really works, to see if it can help me uh, maybe eliminate some of that time maybe not all of the time because I have spots where I don't have any hair at all but maybe it could just make it a little quicker and if it makes it a little quicker I'm happy so I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna try it right here in front of you because maybe you want to try it too I want to see if it works so this is the Alme long-lasting brow color it's called brows on brows on no, it's called Brows On and On. It's a peel off formula and I got the color brown. And that's the other thing. I am so fussy about the color of my brows. There are things I'm fussy about and things I'm not. I'm not fussy about eyeshadow. I don't care if it's very pigmented or not. You know, I'll pretty much work with any eyeshadow that I get. I am fussy with mascara and I am fussy with my brow pencil color. So let's see. This is the little tube that it comes in. The fancy name, I guess, would be the component, but I'm not fancy. Oh, okay. This is scary because <laughs> it's almost like a latexy look to it. Wow. Okay, that's a little scary. Oh, I don't know, let me smell it. And it drips a little. Oh yeah, it smells plasticky. Oh yeah, it smells bad, like plastic is gonna go on my face. All right, let me try it. I don't know how easy this is. I don't like this brush. It's like a blunt brush. The picture didn't show a blunt brush. Let me show you the picture of the package. Hold on. I think I have too much product. I think I am regretting that I said I'm going to try this. Where's the picture? Well, yeah, I guess so. There's the picture. Apply thick coat to brows. Let dry 30 minutes and gently peel in the growth of the hair, in the direction of the hair growth. All right, here goes. I don't know if I want to put this on. I'm afraid. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna put it on. Applying it, I don't know if I want to do this. Ugh. Maybe I should just put this on where I want my, you know, I'm, li I'm liking the color but maybe I should put this on like in the shape of my brows. Will it color my skin? I think I have to put more because I just thought about this. This is like a mask, you know, and you peel off those, ah, I dropped it. You know how you peel off those masks and if you do not put on enough, you can't peel it off. I have a feeling that's what this is gonna be like. So I have to put on more. And I dropped it, so I have to get it. Ah! Now I dropped my mirror. 
I'm dropping everything. Is that a bad sign? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I put on enough. Uh, one more coat, just in case. It says to apply a lot, right? I'm afraid. I did it. It's done, okay? I can't go back. And I'm going to put it on this one. Because I have, I have gray hairs on my brows. And I don't like them gray. Is this going to be too dark? Oh, I don't know, but I'm doing it. It's done. It's done. Well, I could chicken out if I wanted to, actually. But I'm not going to. Let me put this one on. What have I ever done that as I'm doing it, I'm saying to myself, I shouldn't have done this? Oh, I know what. I did about maybe 20 years ago. I did tattoo my eyebrows. And as I'm in the chair getting them done, I'm thinking to myself, am I doing the right thing? And then when I stopped, I mean, I was so, oh, this looks like terrible. I was so hyped up about being worried about thinking if I had done the right thing or not, that when I got the, you know, when I finished and I was ready to look at what had happened and what they did and everything, I thought it was awful. Because I just hyped myself into thinking it was awful. It wasn't awful. So I, I don't want to do this with this. I don't want to be negative with this. I want to be positive. And either way, I mean, it can't last forever. I should have read that. Does it say if it's going to last forever? <laughs> That's a problem that I don't read everything. Plus, you know, you can't really read everything because it's so tiny. Let's see if there's anything here. Directions, apply a thick coat, making sure gel reaches skin underneath. Okay, and in between hairs, okay. Immediately wipe away product that extends outside desired brow. Okay, I didn't do that. And I have some product that I don't like. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna regret this because this is a little thick and this is a little thick. I better go wipe a little bit of this off. Okay, so tip number one, do not apply a product and then read the instructions. I should have been very, very careful because, because this is going to put color on my skin. <laughs> All right, so it says to let dry for 30 minutes. And then it says to gently peel from the nose bridge outward to avoid potential tugging and removal of brow hairs. Or use a spool brush to gently remove the set gel from the brows and groom as desired. Pipe cap tightly after use. I am afraid. I am afraid because you know what? I didn't draw it correctly. Look, I draw I drew this one with the arch out that way, and this one, the arch is closer. I am like, I'm crazy. Why did I do this? Okay, I don't know if I wanna wait 30 minutes now. I don't know if I want this. I'm having that moment of regret. <laughs> and it's very dark. Okay, I'm taking this off, all right? Let's see if I can, because it's still not wet, I mean dry. Let's see what happens. Oh, I don't know, but I'm making a mess. Let's see if I can actually peel this off. I don't know. Oh, this is not peeling off. Okay. It's not peeling off. I'm washing this off. It's not peeling off. All right, look. No. This is scary. This is scary. Look. No. Definitely glad I'm taking it off because it has like a reddish color. I am glad I'm taking this off. I hope it's coming off. Not all of it is coming off. 
Oh my gosh, I don't like this. Why, why did I do it? Okay, call me a chicken, but I took it off. I did not like it. <laughs> it was scary, it was hard to take off. See, look, everything is like a little reddish. I, I'm not gonna do this. This is gonna go to the trash. I do not like this. Has anybody used this? I do not like, who would use this? Look at how beautiful her brows look. This did not peel off. No, I didn't laugh. I didn't like it. So. <laughs> I'm sorry it was a fail. All right, at least you know how it worked for me and that I did not like it. So now you know, okay? Have you ever used it? Let me know. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe. But more important than all that, I hope that you have a day filled with peace, love, and joy. Oh